Hello and welcome back to my channel CAD with Jordan. Recently I've been making a crossbow out of purely laser cut parts and something that I wanted to figure out was actually this trigger mechanism underneath. And the way that I wanted to make this work was obviously with any other trigger where you pull the trigger back and it pushes it up and then it allows this to shoot through. Now it won't just shoot through as it stands right now because there would be some form of elastic or spring between these holes, but I can't actually do that in CAD, so I'm just going to imagine it for now. Nonetheless, I wanted to make sure that this trigger actually worked. And sure, I could just move it around a little bit and try and simulate what it would be like, but then it came to me. We can simulate how this works, and that is by using the contact set. And when I turn on the contact set for all of these different parts, now when I move them, they actually interact with one another. So you'll see, when I pull up this pin, my trigger moves with it. And the same goes for this plate at the back here. So the way that you activate the contact set is by enabling all of the different parts that you want to be um, interacting with one another. So you do that by right clicking and then selecting your contact set at the bottom here. And then at the moment it won't work because you need to go into inspect at the top here and then activate contact solver. While that's not on, they can fade through each other just like normal. You turn it back on and now you'll see that these actually interact with one another. So when I pull my trigger back, it pushes this pin and then once this part has moved out of the way, the elastic will pull this forward and shoot in whatever projectile it is that I have in the barrel. So that is the brilliance of the contact set. Make sure to be using it, especially if you're trying to figure out what sort of tolerances you have. I also activated it on this part right here. That way I can see just how far my pin here is able to rotate because if I turn off the contact set on that, it will just keep going. So I wanted to make sure that everything worked. So anything that could have possibly um, got in the way of my pin here, I've turned on the contact set. That way I can test it. And when I come to laser cutting all these parts in real life, I know that it should work pretty similarly to what you can see here. Anyway, that's just a short one, just showing you the importance of the contact set, how to use it and where you would use it. If you would like to learn more about Autodesk Inventor, then check out my course. The link is in the description. It's a crash course for beginners to learn everything from the very beginning. So you need no experience. Check it out. Links in the description. Thank you for watching.